Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Lone Wolf 902, and today we're out in a hot tent. So we've got some fresh snowfall. There's still a bit kind of kicking around in the trees right now, kind of blowing around. Uh, figured why not come out in the hot tent? Fresh snow, it's going to dip down to about minus 5 degrees Celsius tonight. Not too, too cold, but I haven't been out in the hot tent in a while. I've been out just doing cold camping, out in tents, tarps, hammocks, all kinds of stuff. So I figured tonight come out here in the iron wall hot tent and I got the wood stove in there if you guys can see that wood stove that's the wood stove that I got from Pomali you guys probably recognize that from past videos that thing is cranking out some heat so that's awesome I got myself a, a, a hot cup of coffee cook that up on the wood stove and just kind of kicking back right now I, I got all my firewood behind the camera set for an outdoor fire and I've got loads of firewood inside. So I'll probably be spending a lot of time inside tonight just relaxing. Like I said, I haven't been in the hot tent in a while. And I got two movies on my phone tonight that I want to watch. So I'm going to kick back and watch that. And that's the reason why there's loads of firewood in there. So today I have some interesting things going on. I got some awesome food. I'm just getting ready to, I'm going to finish my coffee. And then I'm going to get ready behind the camera to start on a fire lay. And I want to get that set and I got a steak I want to cook up kind of for like an afternoon lunch type deal and then dinner I'm going to do nachos inside of an oven on top of the stove so that's going to be cool so that's the plan I'm going to finish up my coffee and then I'm going to get started on that fire behind the camera and get out the grill get out the steak and get cooking a little snack so let's get on with it And that's good. Whew. All right, so I got the fire going here. Almost burned down to coals. And I got my steak. Go ahead and get some salt and some seasoning on this guy. We're gonna do pink sea salt. We're gonna do pepper, garlic, and Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna be cooking this on my Big Bitty Q grill. Now, this was sent to me, and I actually have a review on this. This thing is awesome. I love this. So, check out the review on this if you guys are interested in the grill. Pretty awesome system. So, I'm going to go ahead and set this up over the fire. You know, there's coals. Whoo, that's getting hot. Whew. 
All right, so let's go ahead and set this up over here. This side seems to be looking pretty good for some steak cooking. Set it up right there. Go ahead and get our steak on there. And we're cooking. So I'm gonna let that slow cook for quite a while. I don't know, maybe half hour, 40 minutes and uh, clean this stuff up. And I think I wanna crack into a beer and kick back and relax for a little bit and cook this steak up. All right, guys, so went ahead and I ate my steak. That was awesome, cooked over the fire. And I've been kind of just kicking around a little bit, sipping on my beer, and got the stove, so or the oven, sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna be doing nachos for dinner, and it's getting close to that dinner time, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this oven together. It's a flat pack oven, works great for packing in the sled. It is a little heavy to be, like, you, you wouldn't be able to backpack this, but it works great for uh, for winter pulp camping or ATV camping, truck camping, all kinds of activities like that. It's a pretty handy piece of kit to have, really. So you gotta make sure all these tabs are locked in, right? Let's get this in here, let's get it heated up, get the stove going, and then we'll cut up our veggies. I got onion, I got olives, I've got green onion, a uh, whole bunch of cheese. It's gonna be a big old dish of nachos. So let's get this thing warmed up. All right, so I got the oven all assembled and on top of the wood stove right now in the tent. Coming up the temperature, got the wood stove stoked full of wood. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my knife here, cutting board, and cut up some vegetables for the nachos. So got some birds in the background right now. I got, the, I got a pair of owls that are kind of bouncing between tree to tree, you kind of see them fly closer to one another, but they're calling to each other. They've been doing it for about probably, I don't know, maybe like the last hour. 
Now that's really nothing strange because my property, I always have owls out here. And my son, he actually likes it. So we come out here and right around this time, just before dark, they'll start coming out and really start calling to each other. So that's kind of a, kind of a nice feeling, you know? Have some owls up in the trees calling to each other and crackling campfire and good time. So I got green onion. I'm gonna cut these up. I got white onion, I got black olives, I've got cheddar cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and make a big old dish of nachos. I also brought sour cream and salsa. So we are rocking legit nachos tonight. And they're all gonna go inside of this pan and that's gonna go right into the oven. Okay guys, we are at 200 degrees, pretty much right on the dot. Nachos going into the oven. All right, nachos in the oven. Get some more wood on there and let's get it stoked up and cooking. All right, so I'm guessing that'll probably take about 20 minutes, half hour. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. How many people are jealous right now? Put your hand up. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome setup. So uh, like I said, I wanna let that go for about 20 minutes, half hour. I might even shut the door to kind of keep some of the heat in there. It, uh, uh, it's holding at 200 degrees, so we'll leave the door open for now and Maybe just kind of kick around camp, have a have a sip of the beer there, and wait for the nachos to cook up. Ho, 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 ho. I smell nachos. Oh, buddy. Wow. Just opened the door and like I just got smacked in the face with like a pizza shop almost. Man. Got like a mix of like fresh pizza, nachos. Oh. Let's get in here and have a look. Okay, so we're at 250 degrees. Let's have a look. Ooh. 
I think it's going to be pretty toasty warm in here tonight. I, uh, I'm up on a cot, by the way. I, uh, I got a cot system in here. And maybe tomorrow I'll pull this out and show it to you guys. But I'm on an elevated cot, so I'm about six inches off the ground. And I got the... Oh, man, that's warm. <laughs> Holy. Put my hand right underneath my sleeping bag, and I can feel the heat. So <laughs> I got the Thermarest Ridge Rest, the so light version with the foil on top. And then I got another thin mat underneath of that with... They're both closed cell foam, but uh, the... The mat underneath of the Thermarest also has uh, foil lining. So, man, that's warm. Very surprising. So, and then my down bag on top. I got my Black Orca winter bag. So, and I got reviews on all this stuff. So, go ahead and check out the review playlist if you guys are looking for, for kind of reviews or what's this, what's that. Jump on the playlist that I have for reviews and all this stuff should be there. So, and that smells good. So oh, I want to open it, but I don't want to open it because the heat's got to build. So let's just get out of here for now. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I have a dish of salsa, and I've got two of these little guys of sour cream. So sour cream and salsa, going to be good. And yeah, I have enough for round two. So later on, if I do want to have another dish of nachos, I actually have enough ingredients to make another dish. So... This is going to be cool. All right. Got my plate of nachos all cooked up and ready to go, nice and hot. Got my salsa. And, whoo. Sour cream and sour cream. So let's dig in. Oh yeah, look at that melted cheese. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. I know these are just nachos, but there's something satisfying about having nachos out of the oven in the woods. Oh yeah. Man.
Good morning, everybody. So as you can see, it uh, the snow doesn't really look the same today. It rained last night a fair bit. You can see the side of the tent still quite wet and getting a little saggy here. Uh, it rained quite a bit last night. I was, oh, I don't know, probably my all my second movie and the raindrop started hitting the outside of the tarp. But uh, it stayed nice and dry. As you can see, the whole inside area <laughs> is pretty melted. It got hot in there last night. I kept it floating around about 23 to 27 degrees Celsius so and I was on the cot so I was up elevated off the ground so I was more into that heat channel but uh, I gotta say I I slept comfortable very very warm very comfortable didn't let the stove die out I didn't bother relighting it until this morning but uh, yeah it was a good night really good night so I'm just uh, having a cup of coffee right now and I went ahead and made up my garlic bread and got that popped inside of the oven, so that's doing its thing right now. And I should have, yeah, I got a fair bit of firewood left over, so should be able to get that rocking and get that cooked, and uh, maybe cook up another coffee, and see maybe about this outside fire pit, because there is still some firewood to be burned there. Uh, it's always nice to have an outdoor fire to kind of warm your hands while you're packing up and, and whatnot. So I might get that going again. And yeah, all in all, it, it, it's looking pretty good. Not a big breakfast, like I was saying, I just got two pieces of garlic bread and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be heading out of here soon because it's my day off work today and I'd like to spend some time with my daughter. So that's the plan today. Um, yeah, just gonna make my garlic toast here and sip on my coffee and I will bring guys back when I have some more things to say <laughs> all right guys stick around
All right, guys. So garlic bread is ready and look at that. Oh man. Mmm. Oh wow. That's a lot of garlic. Mmm. So I went ahead and put garlic powder, Italian seasoning, I buttered the bread, and then put cheddar cheese on top. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yeah, cheese pull apart. Oh yeah. Man, that's good. So having that oven on this trip, I'm actually really enjoying it. Garlic bread, giving me giving me good ideas for next time because I did garlic bread and I did nachos on this trip. So I'm thinking maybe I'd like to bake a loaf of bread, a small round bread in there. I'll probably need a bigger wood stove to do that because that one hums at about 250 degrees. I didn't really get much higher than that. So I'll probably need a bigger stove, but I'm thinking pizza, I'm thinking bread, I'm thinking maybe even muffins, like bring like a little muffin tray. Maybe if I come out here with my son, we'll do some muffins or whatever. Uh, just it opens up loads of options and just even for keeping things warm. I mean, I put a glove in there earlier and it dried it out completely. Just a glove inside on the rack. So that's pretty neat. Worked really good. I'm happy with that. Mm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. All right, well, garlic bread was awesome. I'm all done, coffee's all done, breakfast was good. I feel good now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up because like I mentioned earlier, today's my day off work and I, I really wanna spend some time with my youngest daughter, so. I'm gonna pack some stuff up and uh, I won't bring you guys along for that. I'll just get it all packed up in the bag and in, in the sled and, and we'll head out of here. So that's the plan. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna sit here for another minute, kinda enjoy the heat before I start packing up. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. All right, guys, so I am all loaded up. Everything's packed onto the sled. I got all my stuff in my pack. Uh, as you can tell, today is significantly warmer than it was yesterday. And in doing so with all the rain last night, pretty much all, I don't see any snow in any of the trees around here. And a lot of the snow on the ground is not just where I was camping, but off in the distance, a lot of the snow is kind of wet and soppy and there, there's not a whole lot of it. So I went ahead and threw my jacket underneath the tarp. So I got that in here. Uh, just wearing a sweater right now. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I, I worked up quite a, quite a sweat coming in here yesterday. So I'm not gonna bother with the jacket, but that's one of the added benefits of bringing a sled is you can kind of change out your, your loadout. So I took a lot of the heavier items out of my pack today and I actually loaded them onto the sled. So I don't have to slog that on my back. Uh, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's a nice way of moving gear around and kind of positioning it how you want to carry it. So I am going to head out of here and I got to say I had a pretty good time. Uh, I, I haven't been out in the hot tent in, in a little while. Uh, I know I've released hot tent videos, but for actually going out in the hot tent, it's, it's been a while because I, I stockpile footage. I, I have about six or seven videos, overnighters ready to go at any given point in time. So it, it's kind of hard to to say, hey, I was out when I just uploaded the video and, and all that craziness. So yeah, so in all reality of today talking, I haven't been out in a hot tent in probably two or three weeks. It's been quite a while. So it's nice to get out in the hot tent. It's nice to use the gear every now and then and had the, the, the added benefit of bringing the oven and bringing the wood stove. So that was really good. I really enjoyed that meal, actually. It, uh, you don't really think of uh, that the oven itself 
it's for me the oven was the highlight of the trip but the, the oven itself for for something that it's just such a weird item it, it's a weird item for me to want to say hey i'm going to bring an oven right so it's it's really nice it's flat packed in the sled right now and that was definitely the highlight for me for this trip and i, I know i mentioned it a few times because i'm really excited about it but it is it is a, a heavier item but Anyways, I got the, the wood stove in here. I got all my heavier items, like I was saying. I got my pack all situated. I don't think there's anything else. I got leftover firewood I stacked off to the side, so the next time I come back to this location, whenever that may be, I'll have some firewood over here. Um, yeah, I'm basically ready to go. So I'm gonna throw the pack on, and I'm gonna start dragging the sled out of here. And I just wanted to say goodbye to you guys, and thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna leave the video right here this time. I'm not going to film any outro, I'm not going to do any of that because I, I really do want to get home. Like I was saying earlier, my, my day off today, I go back to work tomorrow and my, my youngest daughter, she, she, <laughs> she wants her dad. So I've been kind of busy with work and busy with a lot of things. So I think when I get picked up today, I might even bring her out in the woods for a few minutes. A few minutes so she can walk around and, and kind of see what's going on. But uh yeah, I'm going to pack up and I'm going to get out of here. So thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. I had a lot of fun on this trip and more videos to come, as always. So catch you guys in the next video.